so this is a samsung a11 and in this video i'm just going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks which you need to know on this device so if you're new here consider subscribing don't forget to like this video share to anyone you think that is going to be helpful to them and without further ado let's just dive into the video so the first trick i want to share with you is the battery percentage right here so when you check out right here by default when you get this phone you're not going to see the battery percentage so this is how you're going to activate it you scroll down your notification sheet and then you tap on this setting icon right here and then you tap on this search button and then you type in battery and after you type in battery you allow it to load and then you tap on show battery percentage and then you tap on this side show battery percentage and you can see right here boom the battery percentage is right here showing now so you can just tap on this side to turn it off and then tap on this side to just turn it on and that is pretty much cool so when you press your home button and you go throughout any part of this phone right here you're going to see the battery percentage showing up here and that is basically very very cool so the next trick i want to share with you is called the side key so when you check out right here we have a side key and this actually has a function that is when you double tap it like this it's going to launch the camera right here but you can choose to change this one right here and gives a different function altogether so what you're going to do is you scroll down your notification sheet and then you tap on the settings right here and you tap on the search button and then you type in side key so when you type in side key you're going to see the pop-up right here you tap on it and then you're going to see side key right here you tap on this side and you're going to see this side that you're going to be able to even turn this off and then deactivate it totally and when you double tap on the side key it's never going to work so what we are going to do is you're going to tap on this side and then tap on open up and you're going to see that we have the chance to choose between any app we feel like we want it to launch when we just double tap right here instead of the camera so i'm going to tap on youtube and then we are good so i'm going to go to my home page and then double tap on this and you see youtube is actually going to launch so you can do this to any app you feel like you want and that is basically very very cool so basically a lot of devices now coming up lately do have this gestures right here and when you check out this one right here let me go to my settings like this you're going to see we have these three keys right here and these three keys right here can be changed into gestures which is actually going to make it look more like an iphone right here and sometimes i think those gestures we can just get right here it's more easier to be dealt with or more easier to operate than getting these three tabs right here so in order to just get these gestures what you're going to do is you go to your settings and then you tap on this side and then you type in navigation so when you type in navigation you're going to see the navigation bar right here you tap on it and then move forward you just tap on this side to get navigation bar and then you can see right here we have swipe gestures so you can even choose to just rearrange the buttons you have already right here you can choose to just rearrange them and you're going to interchange them how they look like when you check out right here beneath you're going to see that when i just change it's going to change so what we are going to talk about here is the swipe gestures when i tap on this side you're going to see that there's going to be a change right here now we just have only one line right here and when i want to go to my home page i'm going to swipe up like this and it's going to take me to my home page when i want to go to my recent app i'm going to partially swipe up like this and i'm going to get my recent pages right here unlike the previous one where you're going to be able to just tap on the side right here and going to give you your recent apps you partially swipe up like this and you're going to get everything so with the gestures another cool thing about this gestures is when you want to go back you just swipe to the back like this and you're going to go back or you swipe like this and you're going to go back and that is basically very cool so either of the sides works when you actually want to go back either go like this or either go like this and that is very very nice so i think this is basically very cool that you can just try your hands on them or maybe if you feel that is what you want you can just try it out and it's going to give you the iphone look of your android device right here so the next so the next thing i want to share with you is within the clocks right here so when you check out right here you can see that on the screen we have a normal standard clock right here which you can just change and then get a new style so with this what you need to do is you need to go to your settings and then what you're going to do is you're going to type in clock and when you type in clock you're going to see clock style right here you tap on clock style and then you move forward to tap on clock style and the clock style again and you're going to see different clocks right here so we have this when you check out on the screen we have this one too and then we have this one which is, looks more like a clock and then we have this one too so i'm actually going to pick on this and you can just move forward to just change the accent colors right here to pay how you feel like you want or you can tap on this side to pick any of the color gradients you feel like you want so when you check out right you can see that it's changed and after you are done you're going to tap on done 
and when I just lock my device and then turn it on, you're going to see that the clock has changed into the one you feel like you want. So you can choose any style you feel like you want and you're going to get this clock right here. And that is basically very, very cool. So another nifty feature I think I like about this device is the dual messenger. So we have applications like Snapchat, WhatsApp, and then Instagram, where maybe some people do have double accounts or maybe triple accounts. And with this dual messenger, you're going to be able to just duplicate your app on your device and you're going to be able to sign in to your WhatsApps on the phone with different numbers. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in dual and then you're going to see dual messenger right here and then you tap on it and then you move on to just tap on dual messenger right here and you're going to see the apps which are going to pop up that are compatible with the dual messenger on your device at the moment so some apps you might actually install some apps which are compatible with it and they're going to show up right here when you just install it so whatsapp snapchat facebook and then facebook messenger are the ones i have on this device that is actually compatible with this and i think this is one of the niftiest feature right here on this device because maybe you have two numbers and then one could actually be your business number you can actually just activate this and then it's going to be helpful for you to just get your both numbers working on the same phone i think this is one of the greatest feature i've seen so far on this device and you can try it out if you've not noticed or seen it yet and that is going to be very very helpful for you another helpful thing you're going to see around here which is also a very great tip is actually the tendency for you to be able to just hide apps right here so sometimes you probably might have maybe facebook or any app on your device and then maybe someone can just get your phone and then they would want to just go through the phone stuffs or maybe your messages or something so with this settings i'm about to show you is actually going to help you to just hide any application on your device and that is going to be very very helpful for you so what you need to do is you go to your settings and then you type in hide app so when you tap in hide, you're going to scroll down to see hide apps right here and then you tap on it and then you're going to just tap on this side too and you can see the apps that are available for you to just hide right here. So I'm going to be hiding Instagram and then Facebook right here. So I'm going to tap on this and then tap on this and then let's go to Netflix and then we are going to see. So when you are done, you're going to tap on done right here and then you are good. So let me just go to my home screen. And then we are going to go scroll through and you're going to see we don't have Facebook right here. The app's done. And we don't have Netflix on the device too again. You can see right here. And that is very, very helpful. When you want to just get the apps back again, what you need to do is you go back and then you go to where you hit them and then you tap on hide apps. And then you tap on hide apps for here too. And you're going to tap on this sections right here. And then you are good. And when you're done, you tap on done. And then you go back and you're going to find your apps right here. So right now you can see our Instagram, you can see our Facebook, and then you can see our Netflix right here. So this is pretty much very, very helpful. And it's one of the niftiest things I've seen so far on this device. And I think it's going to be very helpful if you just try it out. Say in the comment section, if you think this is one of the coolest things you've seen so far on this device. So the next thing I want to share with you is just a very simple thing, which is a screenshot, how to screenshot on this device. You just press hold on this off button and then the down volume key. And then you're just gonna just get your screenshot right here and when you draw it down you're gonna see your screenshot right here and that is basically very cool so the next thing i want to share with you is the one-handed mode so this is one of the niftiest feature tool you can get on this device and how you're going to activate it is by going to your settings and then typing in in your settings one hundred and then you're going to see this section right here you tap on it and then you tap on this one right here to activate it and then you tap on the gesture right here and when you tap on it in order to just activate this 100 mode what you're going to do is you swipe down like this and then you're going to be able to just activate this 100 mode so you can see that your phone screen has been shrinked right here and that is basically very cool you can also just put it on button right here and then when you double tap the home button you're going to activate your 100 mode i think that is very very helpful too so in case maybe you want to switch this to the left side if you are a left-handed person what you're going to do is you're going to tap on this side and then you can get your 100 mode right here and you're going to be able to just do anything you feel like you want when you tap on your home screen you're going to see that your phone is going to be in a 100 more in a smaller version when you check out right here your phone is very very small now and that is basically very cool if you want to go back to the settings of your 100 mode you tap on this section right here and you're going to get your settings right here and you can switch to this side again if you want to deactivate it you tap on this side and then you're going to deactivate the 100 mode and i think that is one of the coolest features i've seen so far on this device too and you can try it out 
So the next thing I want to share with you is by removing animations on your device. So One UI 3.1 actually installed on this device actually gives you cool animations when you are opening apps or swiping through the device. You can see right here, it's very, very fluid and very, very cool. So these settings I'm about to show you on some devices, you would have to activate the developer settings in order to just get this done. But this form right here gives you the go ahead to do it in your settings. So what you do is you go to your settings and then you type in anime. And then when you type in anime, you're gonna see remove animation right here. So you tap on remove animation right here and you're gonna see it right below here and then you just turn this on right away. So when you turn this on right away and then you go back, you're gonna see that the animation has been deactivated and everything just opens quickly, you can see right here. But when we just turn this off, and then we just go back and then we open it you're going to see that the animation is back and that is basically very cool so activating this one actually makes the phone very quick than it used to be and sometimes if maybe your phone is full or maybe you have a lot of things running on your device you can just activate this and it's going to be just helpful for you in order to just get things to move very very freely on this device so if you think this is really helpful or you feel like you want the animation still which that is what i really want on this device let me know in the comment section and that is basically very cool so the next thing i want to share with you is called split screen so probably maybe if you are watching a youtube video or something and then you want to open another app you just tap on this side and then you tap on open split screen and then you're going to see that you're going to be able to just open any further application right here so let's say I tap on this side and you're going to see I'm going to get this both apps on the screen side by side. So you probably might, will be able to just watch anything you are doing on YouTube and also get whatever you feel like you want to do right here. And that is basically very cool. And I think um, Android has actually done a lot of great stuff right here on this device. And if you also want to just watch something on YouTube in the pop up screen too, you just do the same and then you tap on this side and then you tap on pop up and you're going to get a small portion of the screen right here and you can even adjust it very very small like you want and you can scroll it to any side of the screen you feel like you want and you still can multitask or do anything you feel like you want to do without even tempering with whatever you are doing right away you can also press on to just tap on this side and then you tap on the screen and then you can just make it a bit transparent and it would actually look like it's part of your screen right here so when you check out you're going to see that it's actually picking the wallpaper color right here and i think that is basically very cool and if you think these tips and tricks are very helpful just stay in the comments and let me know and let me know any device you feel like you want to know more about the tips and tricks and i'll try my best to just get it and then show you some basic things you feel like you want to know and if you are new here consider subscribing over to like the video share to anyone you think that is going to be helpful to them too and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace